right? And back to Howarth and Seth. And we, you said just over here, right? Um, mm -hmm. We yep. still have to do the hieratic from, uh, and he said the parenthetical verb. Um, so then let's see. Where are we? Here we are. Um, read leave, A to man, Nef, that's pretty clear. Ni to me, Gere, Ire, M, then that little head sign that looks, well, we've talked about that many times, so that's okay. Head, walking legs, hard to see, but if you know that's what it is, then it makes sense. Gere, very abbreviated. Gere, but a huge determinative stroke. That funny shape that the sa glyph takes now, which is essentially almost like a reed leaf, but bending backwards here a bit, and another determinative stroke. Um, so I would say in terms of hieratic, nothing too exciting here, unless anybody has any questions. Um, nen. So after these, iu, uh, iu, pa, so this is the the wings of the pa. It looks like it goes into the 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 olive bird, but we've seen that many times. That just just happens due to proximity. It's pa, the wings to describe to distinguish it from sa, and then comes the full version of the olive bird. And this here should really be ucha, the letter. Um, but in this case, there is no w. I mean, there definitely isn't one missing. He just left it out. Um, so, paucha, the letter, very long string here for the letter. N, usir, the letter of Osiris. Um, of course Sorry, I'm where's the plural strokes in Ucha? In Ucha, I think it's this. It's the T thing? Yeah, the T thing. Um, yeah, I so this is this is me. I, I, and sometimes it gets transcribed as the smudge glyph. I remember in the early days when we talked about this with Christian and he explained why it's got plural strokes. And so I've always stuck to that, but I, I don't know. I'm kind of agnostic about it. I, I could change it if you're not convinced. Yeah, it's, a, it's a fair point. Let's go back to the very beginning because I think we had Uha there a few times, didn't we? Um, oh, God, we've got it so many times. Right. I mean, it doesn't make sense that there's a T there, but... It's definitely not a T. Um I think Christian explained it's it's written that way because it's it comes from a word meaning wishes, like the wishes of oh, so and so. Is that it? So it's got oh, wow. plural strokes. Yeah, uh -huh. we could go back to the video way back in the day. I don't, I have no idea when it was, but that's why I've always done that. But if you go to Ramsey's online, they a lot of times just put this. So that's still mm -hmm. weird, but it's more believable as three verticals. Yeah. I mean, let's look at this one here. So, hab, hab, two, and this is a big u. So here he actually wrote out the u in ucha. Here's the ha. Then comes this thing, which is the string. Ha. Huh. That's a good question. Are these plural strokes? I mean. Plural strokes would look kind of like this, right? Um, so maybe, maybe like the the leftmost descender is is ligatured to a plural stroke, and then there's right. two more. Strokes. Yeah, I almost feel like you they're this, right? let, like treating the descender as if it's its own stroke, and then adding two more. That's what yeah. it looks like to me. It looks like two strokes. Yeah, because those two strokes don't look connected to the other end of the loop, right? Like right. the hieroglyph has them coming over there, but right, no, that's true. So it's like that, think and then it goes one that point, point. bank, yeah. bank. But I'm going to counter argue a little bit. I thought this year needed a second stroke. I could be wrong about that. Oh, I think before we thought it did, but looking oh. at that, like, I don't know. What does Murder say? There's only one way to find out, right? <laughs> um, I mean, Murder could be wrong about something like that, too, because they're. Um, I would look at, look at Acupal, Um okay. if somebody has a glyph number for me. I thought I had Acupal open. I would want to see what other scribes do, too. Good point. Because it's That's not we, the one thing we know it isn't is a smudge. He's clear. There's something being written there. That's why I hate the smudge clip so much. It's such a cop out. It's V12. Oh, it's V12. Well, let's see. Um, hang on. V12 was one vote. Vote, and we can't see anything. Oh, for that, yeah. Is it? Correct? I was thinking for the plural strokes. Gotcha. Yeah, that's Z two or something like that, or Z three or Z two. 
So here we go. Oh, Alright, guys. yeah. So it has, at least in the Middle Kingdom, it has two endings, right? Um, which kind of makes sense because you have two things that you need to account for. Um, and the one that you think is the descender isn't. That's actually the one on top. Let's go on a little bit, though. So this is like nice 18th dynasty writing. The 19th, we're getting more into our territory. There you go. I mean, this is exactly what we have. So at least Acupal thinks that But the that two second belong. stroke is part of it. Right. And No, then it's it's much cliff. yeah, you get this unmotivated thing. I mean, or oh, smudge glyph. It's just there. Yeah, at Um, least there are pictures here, but like we need to find it written without the plural strokes to compare, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And how would you do that? You would need a completely different word, right? One that Yeah. normally doesn't get plural strokes. Um, One of those examples had um, it just by itself and then one with a, a Z1 under it in Acapal. Do you remember what that was? Uh, back in Acapal. Oh, in Acupal. Yeah. Like uh, on the, the ones that are uh, the screenshots. These here, on the block. huh? Yeah, there's some that it could be part of the glyph or it could be just the way that they had to include uh, crop it. They True. include True. Good point. And the fourth one over doesn't have anything under it. Right. Yeah, no, that's true. So is it a smudge or is it something else is what you're saying, basically? Is Here, it just... here, here's one with a Y1 under it. Um, page three, line two, see uh, near the beginning of the line. Yeah, yeah. And honestly, to me, it looks the exact same. It looks the exact same. And, I'll, and I don't know who did this, the transcription on this one either. This, this was us. <laughs> we, Right. we put that Y1 there. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. Look and see what Gardner put. Um, I wouldn't be surprised. No, I don't know. I'm just trying to find another. I try, I'm trying to find the sign right now without um, plural strokes. And I don't think I'm going to be successful. I mean, where do you find it? You find it in Zecha, in RIT, basically. I think we had it in that. Didn't we have it in our testament? It should be in there. Um, because repeatedly he's making a writ for her, doesn't he? Um, our Nefa family. Let me No, take Gardner, that one Gardner has, I don't So even he... know what to call it. I mean, cop out. Gardner has, he basically just copied what the, what it looked like. Oh, boy. Uh, Oh, oh, wow. wow. Yeah, squiggle. So what is that? I don't even know what that's Squiggle. supposed to be. Gardner used a non-Gardner sign. All right. Alan. <laughs> the sign transcribed as cop out. Um, okay. This one here also has plural, plural strokes, so that doesn't help. I mean, completely different scribe, different, different text. I was just thinking... Can we take a look at that? Over here it is. There's something here. Mm, not really satisfying. Should appear here again. Let's see. Middle of line four. Ba, 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 Yeah. ba. Here it is, yeah. But he's ligaturing the whole thing into a into a determinative stroke. Or at least so we think. So Yeah. Alan says the signs also used to write Arak and bi to bind and Fech to loosen. So maybe there's some court drama we can read that might have Some, an example without plural strokes. As you would some, expect that in a verb, right? what uh, what examples were those again? To bind and to to bind and to loosen. To bind and to loosen. Oh boy, probably some magical text or something where you bind something. I Uh, could see too. that. Shall we leave it as an unsolved mystery for today? I think I understand why it took us three years to get to page 16. <laughs> You're so reading my mind. <laughs> Too funny. 2026, we finally finished. <laughs> hey, um, let's see. We'll find out if social security is still a thing by the time we finish this. <laughs> so, I mean, now I, I see, yeah. It looks like a T, but it's clearly not. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do with that. I think we need more text, honestly. You'd need more text and see what the evolution is and 
in times when when this year was spelled out a little bit more like is it always written with plural strokes that i'd be more willing to say yeah mm -hmm. these are just highly simplified plural strokes or i don't know are there any non-hieratic examples of this is this ever written out in a hieroglyphic text oh the, the verb i mean the, 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 the well, i mean the that's fine Th this yeah well or yeah, this sign yeah. meeting absolutely yeah yeah, yeah. Well, we could look at that see uha actually carved into something that would be crystal clear I mean, I think the plural strokes are attested. Um, hmm, I'm not thinking about Uha right now. Oh, that, on the Rosetta Stone, it's actually on there for letters, uh, in Greek letters, in Egyptian letters, etc. Um, letters of documents, shat, um, for demotic. Hmm. Hmm, but of course, that's a different word. So you want uha? Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Uh, simple search. Uh -huh. letter or escri. Fine, I'll take that. Hmm. Well, I've got it with the determinative stroke. Yeah. And here, of course, the smudge. <laughs> here, the, the infamous smudge. Hate it. Um, Hate it, yeah. I'm curious if it is in. Well, this is all, of course, hieratic. So oh, well, there's one. There was a, a plural strokes. And tell me that really looks different on page 14.5. I mean, I'm, I'm willing to look, but let's have a look. Okay. 14.5, easy enough. We have it open, anyways. 14.5. Yep, looks the same. Looks, looks the same exactly the same. So this is really in the eye of the beholder. But is it maybe on a Ramesside temple or something somewhere? Let's see. Still Horus and Seth. Horus and Seth. Not helping. Still Horus and Seth. Moon. Okay. We can revisit that with Moon. Um, I don't know what this is. O Ostraka, probably. So this would be handwriting again. If it starts with an O, it must be Ostraka. And this is still Moon. So that doesn't help. Um... If we miss a word, I'm going to give it one more shot. Uh, Any other uhas? No. Okay. Mm, I, ha I had been hoping that maybe it would be in something like the, the Ramses uh, temple inscriptions. Those would be a nice hieroglyphs, but nope, nada. And those are in um, Ramses? I mean, they should be on here in Ramses Online. At least the Hittite thingy is. Okay. I'm not sure, but you're right. I'm not sure how much they have. I mean, those temples are so, so full of inscriptions. And Ellie has some publications on them, for example, like all the inscriptions of Ram Ramses, it's the, basically the campaign inscriptions. So I'm not sure if they are on Ramses Online. Good question. I haven't looked for them there yet. Hey! I would say postpone, if you guys are okay with it. So yeah. what, the, what do we have? Um, he said to him, and then many, many after this or something, or no, after that, after that, the letter, the letter of Osiris, Seper, Seper Erpa Eti or Enti Neb Ergeru, so quick comment here on spare. We talked about this. All this stuff needs to go under the spare glyph um, in this, by this time. That's just customary. Pa eti neper that which the Lord of all im was in. In other words, the letter reached to where the Lord of all was. Chana. Chana is ligature. This is an N with an Ein. Chana et psite or psidje. Uh, sorry. Uh, psite, I guess. Seated, um, what the passage it was in. Okay. Um, did we have this or is nope. that where we start? I think that's where we start. All so. right. I've talked long enough. Somebody take over, please. <laughs> I can take it if you want. That would be great. So, when in Jahuti, Shesep Pauha. When in Jahuti, what did he do? Um, uh, Shesep. Shesep. That's right. Shesep. Pauha. Pauha. Mm -hmm. A-U-F. Ash-F. Mm -hmm. M-Ba. 
הרגתי. I'm now completely confused. We have no unified orthography, which means I have no idea how it goes. Um, and what else? But and a ta pasitrit. That's right. Gena ta pasitrit. Okay. All right. So, so then Jahuti received the letter, and he responded in the presence of the... Sorry. Uh, in the presence of Raharakti with yes, the passage Correct. Uh, with one little exception, I'm not sure about respond for Ashev. How would you... What is the literal meaning of Ash? Read it out, perhaps? Exactly. He read it out. Or simply he okay. read it. Actually, I think it's Osh still in Coptic for to read, uh, with the assumption that you're, you're reading aloud, because originally it also means cry um, or shout. Um... That's right. Very well done. You have to project when the court is that big. Say that. Oh, yes, that's right. <laughs> to, to, use your herald voice. Use your herald voice, exactly. I just noticed, Jonathan, so is this Halloween or have you been turned into some kind of cat? Yeah, this is Halloween. Uh. <laughs> He's Anubis. It's, is, it Anubis? is it Anubis or is it a Kitsune? Which one is it? I started out trying to do so back, so it, it went a bit sideways. So, <laughs> like Honestly, that. it gave me a terrible shock. I just looked up and then suddenly I saw it. I was wondering when someone else would comment on that. <laughs> we did at the very beginning, just before you dialed in. <laughs> just a normal day in the office. Okay. I know people watching this video out of context be like... <laughs> or they'll you be like, these guys up? are really into this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel bad now. I love it. We, we had weirder. I mean, we had the one where Christian was sitting in front of a donkey the whole time. That was cute. Um, we had people dropping in and out of temples from when virtual backgrounds were a big thing in the early pandemic. And then suddenly people would disappear into into uh, halls full of columns and then emerge Trap again. <laughs> yep, yep. Lots of fun stuff. Um, okay. Uh, do we want to go on? I would say we go on and do the hieratic for a bigger chunk. Um, want to continue or hand over? Either way is fine. I think we're here now. Uh, I can hand over. I can continue. It's fine by me. Oh, boy. We're all too easy going. <laughs> so, when in sen her jed maat? Zips now. Sen her jed. That's right. Um, Ma'at. Did I do this right? Ma'at. I always do this wrong. There we go. Ma'at. Uh, Ma'at what? Zips now. Yeah, but there's something in between. Uh, two. That's right. Ma'at to zips now. Mm -hmm. Oops. This can't do X. Ugh. Um, let's do it this way. <laughs> okay. Um, Ea jet to F Nebha and then the name Atef Atef Nedjef. Hang on, hang on, I'm not fast enough, but you're correct. So M E jet, I think you had M E jet E jet to F Neb Nebha Atef. Neb Jeff Fow Jeff Fapa Jeff Jeff that's correct, which is nourishment or sustenance or sustenance or food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then uh, Uncle Jabs and Neb. That's right. All right. What do you make so, out of it? So then they said what is true times two. Mm -hmm. This is true. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they said to him, the Lord, the great Lord of sustenances. 
Yeah, so I agree definitely on this part. So this is the not the great lord though. Sorry. Uh, um, watch carefully. Um, the name starts. The name starts here. Let's give it some parentheses or something because this can be confusing in transcription. So he's being addressed as the... Maybe let's add this to that. Um, add. So he's being addressed as the Pa'a'a Chetev, the Neb Jifa. I don't know what Chetev is. Chetev, um, abundance, I think. Abundance. So great abundance of all substances. Um, not quite. Uh, you had the nep before correctly in, in this part. So okay. The Lord of Substance. That's right. So the uh, the one grade of uh, of abundance, Lord of sustenance or Lord of nourishment or something. May he live uh, in health, prosperity and whatnot. Okay. All right. But now this part here, uh, Ma'atu, and forget about the seps now for a moment because that's just an embellishment. So what they actually say is Ma'atu em ijetuf nep. That's uh, I said this is true to <sighs> Yeah, I don't know. This is the tricky part. Um ejective nip. That's where you probably hung up. Um there are only a few things in late Egyptian that can have a um uh, the prosthetic yacht in front of it. One is an imperative. Say. Doesn't make any sense here at all, right? And plus it has something after it, the truth. So it's not an imperative. It could be a second tense. Um, a second tense uh, that he says it is in the blah, 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 is in the great hall of the temple of Karnak or something. So it could be a second tense. All right, possible. Or it could be a relative or participle. Um, so it could be a nominal form. Um, it has a preposition in front of it, M. So that points very strongly to a nominal form. Um, so in, and it would be easier if the stupid T wasn't there. <laughs> um, uh, ejedefnip. Ma'atu em ejedefnip. Um, and maybe changes from it is true to he's right or he's correct. He's correct as for what is he said. <laughs> correct. He's, cor he's correct in whatever he said or in everything that he said. Namely, okay. The uh, the one grade of uh, abundance, Lord of sustenance. And um, that's what it is. So then the only thing you still have to figure out is why there is a two in there. And I've seen a similar case before. I'm not sure if it was this one in Cherny Gaul, where they basically say, I imagine the, the D here may very well be a T already. So they may just be really spelling out Jetif, Ejetif, um, that which he said, or this, that which he says. So it's really m ejetif, not m ejedetif, or something like that. But this could very well be the final d here spelled out, which otherwise may well be on its way to I don't know being silent or something. So that's a little bit of speculation, but that would make sense out of the sentence. So then it becomes, and they, and then they said um, he is correct. And now it, let's put the steps now in again. He's correct, he's correct in everything that he said, namely the Lord of Abundance, sorry, the one grade of abundance, Lord of, of sustenance, life, health, prosperity. All right. Well done. Questions on this one? Is that Osiris then, the Lord of Substances? That uh, refers to Osiris, yes. He was called that before in uh, in one of the letters. Um, and he also used it, used that as a flex where he said, um, without me, there wouldn't be any grain. Uh, you'd basically all starve to death. Um, and uh, then Atum says, well, that would be there anyways. Don't think so highly of yourself. And he says, okay, I'm also a lot of the underworld. And I have all these demons that are just waiting to go out. Um, and that sort of does the trick. Now, suddenly they say, oh, yeah, he's correct in everything that he said. Um, I'm getting it. All right. <laughs> just had a quick question about the grammar, not to get too, oh. too um, so, uh, offset by that. But um, so the... Uh, the um, M before the um, the verb, that gives you an idea that it could be a participle? Yes, um, because there's only two verb forms that could really come after a preposition. Could be an infinitive, which this right. clearly isn't because there's just like too much going and on. And with M, it's usually a verb of motion if it's with an infinitive, right? And this isn't a verb of motion. Um, so, there could be yeah. others too. You're right. If you want to form, form the... Um, 
the progressive form, like he is going, then you would use M plus verb of motion. Um, okay. That's what you're thinking of, I think. But that's you could point. also use like her, because of, or uh, yeah. towards and the, and the like with infinitives in general. That's the thing. Okay. But they also, um, prepositions are also used with participles. Yes. Because they're used as a, a verbal um, verbal noun, basically. They're, they're nouns. And so basically, I think, yeah, that's a good point, good way to put it. A preposition needs a noun after it. So it okay. can only be a participle slash relative. Um, the difference between them being, as Christian explained so well, it's a relative if it has something else as the subject. Um, that's really all you need. It to refers to something else. Yeah. I mean, at least for late Egyptian. Um, for Middle Egyptian, there may be differences in the form as well, I'm guessing. I don't know. Uh, okay. Just, uh, have to catch up on that chapter. Yeah. Depends good. on you, who you believe. <laughs> Go again. Depends on who you believe about the differences in Middle Egyptian forms. So that's the other part here. You're right. Black cat in a black room that you don't know whether it's there or not. No, so, never mind. <laughs> I was wondering about, do we understand the what the dual strokes are doing on Ma'a? Dual strokes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's my ye too? <laughs> that's a really good question. Oh, yeah. That's weird. That is a really good question. I was afraid somebody was going to ask about this form because it's a bugbear for me anyways. Could um, that be an adverbial use, maybe? So that, that brings the question what brings up the question, what is that whole thing? I would say the whole thing is an adjectival sentence. Because we've had this ma'ati or ma'atu several times in this text now, in place where you would like like a nefosu sentence, uh, basically, like he is correct, he is justified. Um, but to Ralph's question, how does that actually break down, and how do you link that to to the ma'a that we know from from ma'acheru or chedau or whatever? I really don't know. I take suggestions, what that could be. I've been wondering if this is some kind of nispe formation from, from Maat, like the goddess, or truth. Um, that becomes an adjective again, but that's just a complete guess on my end. Because I'm, I'm trying to understand how that adjective suddenly gets a T ending, which seems to be fairly fairly consistent by the stage of the language. Um, but I don't know why that is. Yeah, I don't know either, and Lesko at least doesn't have any oh there is one example with uh, the dual strokes hmm I mean it's clearly not a T right um, and this isn't the T either so it kind of what else should it be but I share your, your discomfort with this <laughs> um, ma ma a some kind of vowel indication Say again? Is so it some kind of vowel indication? Possibly, huh? About the... Well, good point. I mean, what does that become in... Um, truth, and that's a really good point. Truth in Coptic is may. It has, a, it has an E sound in it. So maybe it's marking a vowel shift from the original spelling? Wow, that is awesome. I never thought... Oh, I that. like this. This is cool. That could be. <clears throat> It's on the same page on line four. We have it again, but this time it's in her name. It's in, they're saying Mott as in the goddess. And That's it's got cool. this, got this. And it has the same marks. Yeah. Line four. Yeah. So maybe it doesn't refer to a specific form of uh, that word. It could refer to just how the word's pronunciation is. Yeah. Although in this case, it almost looks like a T. Where you do you zoom see in? it? Can you zoom in? I'm so blind. I don't see it yet. Uh, there. Boom. Go back. back. Ah, there okay. she is. Yeah. Staring me in the oh, face. There there that could be a T indeed. Well, yeah. well, her name has a T in it, right? Because. Yes. Well, there's a T. But there's a T at the end. Exactly. There's a T after the. After the determinative. Mm -hmm. well, Although the that, determinative. that never stopped anybody. I know. That's. <laughs> but it could be graphic, I guess. <laughs> it also shy about the putting space T's nicely. In there. That's right. Although I think that's kind of a cop out answer. Um, just the idea of like the scribes could do anything to make it look nice. They don't have to necessarily add extra information. Just fair enough. Just for aesthetics, but it could be as well. But I really like that. I mean that that thought is kind of cool. Um, that this could be an indication of pronunciation. I mean, 
um, unfortunately, my skills are highly underdeveloped in, in uh, going back from Coptic to to earlier pronunciations. Ugh. Foreign language lookup always takes forever. Okay, May, but there is May as well. Oh, no, there isn't. I made it up. I made it up. It's annoying. I thought there was a form May. Let me see. No, oh, there you go. Or maybe like, it's me. Like with Anita? Oh, no, that, that's love. Sorry, wrong one. Where's the truth? Uh, here we go. Isn't that it? No, that's still the love. Well, it means to know also. That's pretty similar. To know? I think so. To know? Eh. Married? Here's the truth, Justice. Yeah, there, there we go. There is a me. There's a me. There's a me again, depending on dialect. In Sahidic, it's only me. In me. Okay. In Bukhairic, it's me -e, or me. Fayumik me. Make of that what you will. In Bukhairic, uh, the it's all kind of conflated. It's um, mem epsilon iota, is, or uh, it's uh, to love uh, as a verb. Then right. love as a noun, and then truth as um, right. a feminine noun. So, but I find it interesting that at least some of them have a have a yota here. Could be worthwhile. At least there's a gender distinction, so the the um, definite article tells you. Ah, because totally. truth is feminine, but um, love is, is feminine, masculine. So. Love is masculine. Make of, make of that what you will. Uh, some psychologist is going to find. That I mean, out. Eros, you know, <laughs> but then Aphrodite. So I don't know. Got it. So All right. Those are just a vowel indicator. Did we decide? Did we? I, I, I wouldn't say decided, but it's a tantalizing possibility. Let's put it this way. Um, but I think what you'd really need to do is you'd need to do take the different to, the different rules for the different Coptic dialects and then basically turn the wheel back. And I know some people on the server, I can at least think of one or two, are really good at that, like taking all the different dialects and not just Sahidic and, and then saying, oh, therefore it must have been this in 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 uh, pre-Coptic. But it's mm -hmm. above my pay grade. But I think it's a tantalizing possibility, let's put it this way. That would make some sense out of that, that random Y in there. Okay, um, great question though. All right, so basically now the gods are in agreement with uh, with uh, with the letter, but I don't think we've processed the whole hieratic yet, have we? So let's do that real quick. Wenin Jehuti, that glyph we know well by now. I mean that that combination. Uh, Shezep or Shezep is interesting. It's this weird, whatever that actually is. Um, Gallon says cucumber frame. Right, isn't it? Cucumber frame. And it actually looks more like like a string, like holding out something. Mm -hmm. It's some kind of garden frame. thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like a really short arbor. Yep. Uh, sounds like a town in New England. Short arbor. No, in any case, uh, P, um, Aleph, uh, no, Aleph? Yeah, Aleph. Because it's been, eh? What? No, that's a pa here, sorry. Pa Aleph, here we go. Then the Ucha without a without an U. This one really looks plural stroke. -ish. That one looks like plural strokes. Yes. I think this is this we can can really let pass. These are two, these are plural strokes. Yeah, and that diagonal is definitely part of the um the shesh. Yeah. Yeah. Agree with you there. Then we have U U UF and F looks almost like a W the way it's it's squished together, but F Osh or Ash Ashef he reads it aloud Embach Embach Pa Recharachti Yep we had that many times um, Chena Ta Pesjet again we've had that many times. Wenin, Wenin Sun in this case. The N and the plural strokes are ligatured, kind of hard to read because of the, the red ink. So the, 
The gardener, you know, makes a note that the N is missing, though it just says when E send, but I'm not, does it look like there's a little bit of a shadow of an N under that? It does. Really? Then again, it could just I don't be know. the copyright. I think it's just I think it's just the papyrus, just shading yeah. in the papyrus. Hard to say. But Yeah, I don't think there. it's there. He does this a lot. I think it's just I think it's just like an abridged, nice aesthetic way because putting an N in there is going to mess up the whole. I think anytime mm. he's written when in Sen, he leaves off that N. Oh. Yeah, unless it wasn't pronounced under those circumstances. That could be Maybe. another interesting question. Like, could that actually tell us something if it's really systematic? Mm. Um, like, does, do you get a simulation when he's Sen or something? Uh, completely not. I could see that. But but it could looks be. like one line, but maybe they wrote them really close together and the ink bled together. But I don't know. It doesn't look like it to me. Do you mean this down here? No, no, no. I mean, like it looks like one line under the um under the bunny. Oh, um, under the bunny. Yeah, yeah. That's maybe it yeah, looks like was... one line, but maybe they wrote them so close together that you can't tell. But I, uh, you'd expect we're it talking about the end under the Y under the yod. Oh, okay. Yeah, because you expect okay. when in, in yeah. sen. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, no, that's that's a good point. This one is definitely there. So this is the yeah. one, and this is the end. Yeah. So that yeah, is he there. never leaves that one out, but he often leaves out the one under the um, under the reed leaf. And, I mean, oh, it's under the reed here. leaf. Okay, this is what it should look like, and this is what it often looks like. But I wonder now: is that really a pattern that if send follows, that he then leaves it out specifically? That would actually be kind yeah. of cool, because I wonder if that tells you something phonetically. Hmm. Oh, so it'd be when Neen Sen. Okay. There'd be an N under the compliment, then a compliment under the rabbit, and then there'd be one under the reed leaf that you'd expect. That's right. what it should be. You're right. Okay. The verb form is when in, and then you add Sen in this case. And uh -huh. depending on how the vowels fall, like if it were one na sen, then of course the N would get preserved, right? But if it were like one ansen or something, just making it up, then you could actually imagine how those two get assimilated, um, which would be kind of cool, actually. But again, somebody Wait, would... Is that like if it's followed by a vowel, it would get assimilated? and uh, Or if it's... I'm saying if there's no vowel in between to protect it, maybe that would, would happen. Oh, okay. Wouldn't be the first... Like, like Latin insula... Uh, becomes isola, right? So um, the end goes away. Um, something like that is what I have in mind. Makes sense. He leaves it in when there's a pa, though. <laughs> His, he says when in pa. He keeps huh. he, he, the end, so. So that doesn't it. help. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that would be really cool. Annie, I don't know if this happens Annie at all. Old page is when in Jehudi. Yeah. That'd be really cool if, like, somehow there were nasalized Egyptian, like French. Um, I don't... I'm not saying that happened or anything, but like the vowels, like there's this thing with uh, Latin elisions that yeah. uh, the uh, the um might contract when it it gets elided. There's a sense of nasal. It was still right. there. Uh, here's here's another. Well, no, when in no, when in s no. Uh, that's that's too big a project. No, let's yeah, not it's get a big project. Point. No, but yeah. it's, it's an interesting point. Um, and there are at least two cases where. N disappears. I try to remember what that is, but there, there were some vocabulary items to uh, to Ben's point, like put something like this happen. I don't think we're presuming nasal vowels for, for Egyptian, but there are some vanishing N somewhere. Uh, I'll, I'll, I have a sneaking suspicion this is a this is a case of Henket and Remetch, yeah. where it's just because of the way they fit together. He's just like, you know what I'm saying. And we do know what he's saying. We never get hung up on this. Right. And I mean, they're still there in Coptic, so they never disappeared. I don't know. Yeah, that's a good point, though. Maybe it's just graphical. So, Hurjet, Hurjet, Ma'a, Ma'ai, question mark. Um, then it gets like a little book roll and a tooth, or a two, I'm sorry, no F, two. Sips now, we've had all that. M E J. M E J, M E J what? M E J tooth. Wow, this looks this looks cool, doesn't it? That, yeah, that one's hard to follow. 
T O Ligature with W. Oh, sorry. This is where it goes. Is the W actually is the F actually ligature? I guess. It looks like it, but now that I try to do it, I think actually it isn't. Um, yeah. because it would be unnatural. You have to start with the, the Viper ear somehow. Clear all drawings. Let's try this again. So T, this is the dominant stroke, the, the horizontal one, then the U. And then he does this, and then he does this. Has to I be. can see that. It gets a little bit thicker uh, where um, the lines are really close together, where they're connected. Like your the pen is going over, or stylus is going over itself. Over here, you mean? Yeah, like there's a bit of overlap, um, just because it's really thin right before it comes to that section. Mm -hmm. But then it gets thicker when there's a loop, sort of like when you're turning the uh, calligraphy. Oh, you mean this here? No, 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 one to the right of that. This one? No, no, no to the right. Oh, this that one. one, yeah, that's thicker than right below it on either side. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which looks like the lines were merged. Because he's definitely doing this in terms of like pen movement. And those two are, are um, yeah, like merging, basically. Exactly, because the ink is so close together that it leads into itself. Right, 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 right. Because this is the shape you want. So if you're going up, then you basically have to do this. Okay. And then there's neb, neb, oopsie, neb, pa, and then comes the name of our, our name of Osiris here, whoops, go away, ah, um, this here is tricky. Oh, no, it isn't. Okay, I get it. Um, so... The X is really just this. And then he's putting the the hand with the stick and this part is missing basically. So or is the stick the, the the diagonal stroke? Oh you think that's oh that makes more sense. And so it's kind you of what, I take down it back, and right. over and then the stick comes oh, up from the elbow, right. kind of from the elbow. I think you're right. So you're saying this is my X. Yeah. And this here is my my striking arm? Yeah. It could be. It oh, could so be. the vi horn viper is the thing that's under that, that's kind of merged yeah. under the hand stick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the viper here. Uh, I mean, this here looks like he he starts something new, though, right? Kind of looks bit, like... Yeah, it's a bit humpy there. Hmm. Interesting. And another neb, then a very pronounced j here. Yeah. Very different from how he writes the j in, in to say... I'm just far, yeah, far right. So it's a snake pit. Um, and uh, then plural strokes. Bird on a stick. Lots of strokes at the end. Probably a few I love this. Maybe. It's like it's got three strokes for LPH, and then they write out LPH. Uh, just, just keep going. <laughs> okay. And then here towards the end, what on earth? So this is our Onech. I mean, our, why would you do that? N it can never be too safe. Only, yeah, it can never be too safe. Exactly. <laughs> does he do that elsewhere? Probably. Um, or, or is this? Does this passage have special um, emphasis on protection for this guy? No. We think... often have two. We'll have a couple of extra strokes before an Anqua Dasana, but never this many. This is this is a lot. This time he went nuts. So th this year would be like Anqua Dasana already, right? And then he does one more, and then he does Anqua. I know this is probably that must be the the last one must be the the uja already. Eh? Where's the seneb? No, the s is at the end. You're right. You're right. Seneb is yeah. Seneb is right oh, before the red. Right yep. before the bunny. It's supposed okay. to be an s. Yeah. Looks an yeah. Awful, looks like a bird. Looks on a like stick. a bird on the stick. Yeah. S is normally hmm a bit different. Wow. But yeah, this is an uja seneb. You're right. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. I, I wonder if one of the verticals is just the closing cartouche. It is, but then wow. there are four after that. I counted this over and over again because I was like, that can't be right. But look, you see the curve, then you see yep. one, two, three, three four, four, five. And then the arc. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. No, I wonder if that. Oh, sorry. Like, I was just saying, I wonder if that corresponds to something uh, marked in the passage, like um, with Osiris or. There's a particular reason, textual, or uh, there's like a um, literary reason for this textual emphasis. 
or if it's just the scribe is, you know, just it's they're done with the section. They did the, all those ligatures. They're going to take a break and then keep going. Whenever. <laughs> Um, it, with the um, nourriture or the um, the the, the uh, food, I can't remember what you said. Mm -hmm. That's no, plural. Mm -hmm. That's plural, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I so is so. it possible that the extra lines are something to do with the plurality of, you know, the mass, uh, lord of nourriture of foods? Mm. And abundance, maybe too. That's a, that's an interesting idea. But do they normally have um, quantity outside a cartouche? Normally not. Normally not. And, and honestly, I would claim I've seen this quite a bit. When you go into, like, um, I think maybe in the late Ramesside letters, when people just, but they're basically in letter writing. I'm not going to say it was definitely in there. It may have been some Ostraka, but I, I remember having seen that where they basically just go nuts with those extra strokes. Perhaps if there's a pattern in it. Pen. Could he be cleaning his pen nib? <laughs> Or, or it's not a pen, is it? Is it a brush? I, can't <laughs> I just oh, Cyrus, a... regenerate my brush. <laughs> I have this <laughs> mental image of whenever I have a ball pen and it doesn't, it's running out of ink, and you go like, eh. <laughs> yes, because it's, so like it's trying brush. to make it work. <laughs> it's just that I've been painting a bench recently, and you know, you do end up just doing it over and over again. <laughs> oh my god, this is so funny. I'm, I'm, I would be really surprised if there aren't ancient Egyptian pen tests that are preserved, because uh, that happens throughout medieval manuscripts all the time. Uh, there's uh, yeah? just, there'll be a scribe just like, okay, well, I need to, before I start writing something important in the margin of this book, I'm just... They do that? And then that? start writing. Yeah. But how uh, you Arabic think manuscripts, they do that too. Uh, but Arabic manuscripts, they also have, like, they draw stars as sort of a, an apotropaic thing. Um, but hang on, isn't this a paintbrush? Uh, for for no. for Egyptian, I don't yeah. think the brush. No. It's a, Ooh, a, okay. It's well, that helps my like point. A, what is that? It's like a calm. Like a kalam. It's like a calam. Well, uh, it's a bit tricky. Kalama. So, in in demotic times, they use this. They use a kalam, wow. um, which essentially let's zoom into one. Ah, so it's essentially right. um, a reed. I got this right. It's a reed um, that you cut off, and it's basically very much like a fountain pen. The only thing that's missing in the earlier versions is they don't have that that cut in the middle to hold extra ink, but they're basically like a straight piece of um, of reed. Um, uh -huh. that, well, at this point, I'd like to declare, um, although I might not necessarily look older than anyone here, um, when I first started at prep school, we did actually have an inkwell and a dipping thing. Ooh. And I was always in trouble for being naughty. And you had to write lines when you were naughty. But because I was so untidy, I just had to write lines over and over and over again. And I was always making that kind of mess with the... That, well, we used exactly that. Isn't that shocking? <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Mm hmm yeah, and we had the cane, the cane, you know, whack like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, about the that 19s, 1960s, before Aurelio even was born. That is, is correct, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, my God, the, I am. That word, Kalam, Demotic? Um, oh, it's, uh, oh, sorry. No. Uh, I'm actually not sure what they're called, but I don't think Kalam. That's an, an, I thought you meant the etymology of that word. It's actually, uh, it's Greek. Greek. Um, and it goes into Egyptian. Or sorry, it goes into Arabic. As yeah, there, there's an Arabic word, kalam, which means pen. That's the same thing. Oh, Christopher. Right. Let's hope Christopher is the same age as me. Christopher, you're not. I'm the oldest. This is shocking. Somebody needs to say, gosh, you don't look it. It's also used in Latin uh, via the Greek. So it's kalamos in Greek, and it's kalamos in Latin. There you go. Now, all this and no, are... you don't look it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> <No>. you. That <laughs> was I just assumed you were my age. Okay, thank you. Christopher, I didn't hear what you said. You're younger than me, too. Yeah, I'm 50. Oh, God, it's so depressing. <laughs> Told in all of us. <laughs> well, um, let me quickly bend the, the conversation back to uh, to our, our, <laughs> our document. Now, the problem is I said that's in demotic times, and we're not in demotic times yet. Um, so during the time when our text was written, they would have used something like this, which is way more petite. It doesn't have that big of a um, that big of a body. So this is a rush pen, 
Um, however, the logic is very similar. You have something solid and you just cut it off diagonally and then dip it into ink. Um, there is this persistent myth that people chewed on this. And I knew I was going to say that. Um, so I'm not going to, to go on, on, on that forever because I think you all know that. It's, it's not true. It's impossible. Um, how did we get here? Why are we suddenly on columns? Oh, because of the, the, the testing. Pen test. Yeah, pen, pen test. Yeah. I'm still stunned that people in the Middle Ages would just use the document they're working on. Why don't you just get yeah. a, rag, a rag or something? Um, a piece or, or not necessarily the document they're working on. I mean, it could be. It could be people who owned it much later, hundreds of years later, and they just needed something to write in the margins, or they're in the process of adding marginalia and uh, commentary or whatever. Or just ra drawing funny pictures if they're a student, and then they're just like, "No, yeah. actually, my pen's running out. I should." I, I have to say that I mean, who else here still uses a fountain pen? Anybody? Yes. Okay, but don't you? I'm always doing that. I've got a really important, say, bank document. I can't make the pen work, so I start scribbling all over it, and then I think, "Whoops." You don't have a, an envelope or something lying next to it? That's what no, I No, mean. I'm just, this is, you know, I'm still in trouble. I'm, I'm just always doing bad things. It's never stopped. I mean, I have to do that with like, ballpoint pens when they start running out of ink or to get them going. It's a, it's a similar thing. I have whole pages yeah. of just... Yeah. Yeah, that, that's what I meant before when I said that, uh, ball pen, like, like if you have a ballpoint pen and I'm just imagining like... A... But, but sadly, getting back to these strokes, they do look a little bit... Oh, hang on. How consistent are they? They look pretty deliberate, don't they? They're, they're very deliberate. Uh, they're pretty consistent. Yeah, okay. So we take that back. We don't know. Don't know why. <laughs> so what if it's a secret uh, incantation you say after Osiris's name that you're not allowed to write down? We don't know the vowels or the consonants. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Right. All right, that got a little bit too real. But, but we know it's etymology for sure. There's going to be something that's going to explain that in the comments in a moment. Yes, there's some logograms <laughs> that somewhere else that have it, a right. phonetic. It, yeah. It's, it's right. Sumerian. It's Sumerian. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, I think on that note, we'll end <laughs> for today. <laughs> and we'll wow. have, to, have to leave Sudek's answer to next time. <laughs> oh, my God. Just three more years, everybody. Okay. Yes, sorry, it's my fault for distracting you all. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're perfectly. No, this is off. what we do best. I it's was reminded of the Homer Sim of the uh, the Bart Simpson meme where he's like writing something on the chalkboard. Yes, yes, yes. But yes, in yes. Sumerian scribal school, they're just like drawing the same stroke over and over again in the clay, the clay board. <laughs> oh my god! And besides, we have to remember our dear leader, don't we? You, Why is you, that? Uh, we have to remember our dear leader, you know, Mr. K oh, uh, oh, you mean in terms Professor of... Professor Casey, in terms of being irrelevant. You mean in, in terms of being, being uh, going on bunny rides, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and that's what made it fun. This is why I watched all the Coptic originally. It was such fun. I couldn't wait to see people each week. <laughs> Thinking, these seem like my kind of people. Yes, that's certainly <laughs> true. That is true. Well, I mean, we wouldn't have gotten to our third anniversary if we hadn't been doing this kind of stuff all along. My God, we just don't want it to end. We're dragging out this last page. <laughs>